with tomato and onion. Hi, I'm Keaton Stance and welcome to Fox Farm. My family has owned this farm for over a century. The land was out of production for nearly 40 years when I began growing crops in 2005. Since then, we have expanded our operation to include corn, soybeans, hay, and small grains such as the wheat featured in this video. During the harvest season, the grain is loaded into a truck and taken to a broker where it is weighed, graded, and sold to flour mills to be turned into a burger bun. Hi, my name is John Scott Fort and welcome to Clarion Farms. My family has operated this farm for six generations. Today my father, uncle and I focus on producing beef for area markets and on growing crops to feed our cattle. We purchase calves from local farmers and raise them to 13 months of age. As they grow, cattle move through a series of pens, each containing a different age bracket of animals. This process helps us to reduce competition between individual animals and increase overall comfort in each pen. We work with the animals every day to ensure excellent herd health is maintained in order to produce a quality product. Our beef is processed at a local family operated butcher shop. The skilled crew custom cuts the animals we send each week, creating familiar steaks, roasts, and ground beef, like is featured in this video. Hirsch's Meats is a federally inspected facility. This level of inspection ensures food safety and the quality of the products for your family. The ground beef is weighed into 1, 5, and 10 pound packages according to customers' requests. Many people choose to enjoy this product in the form of a hamburger patty like this one. Hi, my name is Brad Beatner and this is my family's 100 year old dairy farm, Sandra Cars. I am the fourth generation of my family to farm this land. I work with my father, uncle, and cousin to produce 6,500 pounds of milk each day or about 813 gallons. We grow corn, soybeans, oats, and alfalfa on 500 acres as our feed source for the cows. Milking takes place twice every day and the milk is stored in a 2,000 gallon bulk tank until it is picked up by the milk truck to make into products like cheese for a cheeseburger. Vegetable farmers, like this one, dedicate themselves to growing a large selection of produce. The Wingard family has been growing tomatoes and onions and a large variety of other crops for 28 years. Okay. Maintaining the fertility of the soil is of the utmost importance in the production of excellent produce. Crop rotations are used to help control weeds and plant diseases. A workforce handpicks all of the tomatoes and onions on the farm so they are ready to enhance a cheeseburger. As you can see, it takes a lot of dedicated people to produce a cheeseburger. We hope you think about us next time you order one. Thank you to Clarion County Farmers.